It's crazy because what people see is the ball either going in the net or the ball being saved. They don't see the preparation of that. That is the 1% that we live for, but the 99% are the details that happen behind the scenes that nobody ever sees. We want to win World Cups and the Olympics. The nature of those tournaments is different than their club season. It's a higher load within a shorter period. So my job is really to make sure that the players are ready physically to cope with that. The data side and how that informs our decisions is really a key piece of my job. The data that we use the most is the GPS data. We have the players wear a tiny little unit that's tracking the distance they're covering, how many times they're accelerating, decelerating, their heart rate. U.S. soccer has players and coaches all across the country, and they use technology to provide information back and forth. We have a really collaborative relationship with the clubs. So if Alex isn't with us, we are still seeing what Alex is doing on a daily basis. The same technology that U.S. women's soccer is using to achieve peak performance, it's the same technology that healthcare providers are using to achieve better patient outcomes. What AT&T does is we take complex solutions, we make them simple. We remove the technology burden for patients and caregivers. Care doesn't necessarily have to happen in the hospital or the clinic. You can manage patients, their wellness, virtually through technology and connectivity. The players, they're awesome and I think they are really largely responsible for how successful and how big women's soccer is in the US. I take pride in being an Olympic gold medalist and having two World Cup championships. Now I'm able to use my voice for something much bigger to help more girls and women have access to playing sport.